From the time that Montana State University first began more than a century ago, students from small towns have been at the heart of its student body, and still it is so. Last school year, 1,001 students, or about one-fifth, identified that they graduated from a Montana high school with 50 or fewer graduates. Half of those said they were in a graduating class with 25 or fewer graduates. Rooted in the remote corners of Montana, or the tiny towns between them, the road that brought them to Bozeman carried them far from home and a long way from the familiar. The students may have attended a high school where they were one of only a handful of students in their graduating class. Now they might live in a residence hall that houses more people than the population of their entire hometown. They attended classes that may have more students than their entire high school. Mountains and Minds magazine journeyed around Montana to visit a few of these students and hear about where they're from and how they came to MSU. from Pony, Montana, and I study biochemistry. Just like growing up in any other small towns, you have your fun days and your boring days. <laughs> when we were living in Pony, you know, you went to town once every once a week, or once every two weeks to get groceries, but then living in Bozeman, you had everything suddenly available to you, like, oh, I feel like getting some ice cream tonight. Oh, go get some ice cream. <laughs> My favorite thing about Pony is being really close to the mountains, being able to, like, in 10 minutes, we can go hike, hike some mountains or anything really. I chose MSU because, partially because it was close to my family and I didn't really want to go too far and also um, the chances to get into research are so high and I really, really, really wanted to get into research. I was surprised at the quality of the education there because I didn't really think that MSU was really a big contender for like, science or a lot of things but then every, I just in like the first couple weeks would hear like we're, we're the best at this, we're really good at this and that's what surprised me the most. My favorite thing about growing up in a town like Alder is that you can do more things like outside I guess. You can hunt and you have more freedom to go around and fish, go boating, all that kind of thing. Going to Bozeman from a town like Alder with a population of like 50 to a school population of 14,000 was a pretty big change. The the biggest surprise when I came to Bozeman was, although I'd been there before, I still had to get used to the traffic. My favorite thing about going to school at MSU is my professors and the huge fitness center they have. My name is Angela Howe Parrish. I am from Crow Agency, Montana. I chose to go to MSU because well, my parents both went there and um, graduated and I was already familiar with Bozeman, knew that I already loved Bozeman. I wanted my children to experience what I experienced when I was young and showing my children how important education was and also because it's just a beautiful place. My experience of coming from Crow Agency and then moving to Bozeman was, um, it was kind of hard. It was challenging because my children had to adapt to a bigger place. I also had a hard time with um, being in a bigger classroom and not being familiar with people. I didn't uh, make very many friends and then after a while I started to get to know my professors better and um, found more study partners and um, just got more comfortable with the university. I'm Ashley Iverson and I'm from Potomac, Montana and I studied elementary education at MSU. I chose MSU to get away from home and we've always been Bobcat fans and um, they had a good education program so I go there. <laughs> I got a little homesick, I was very surprised by that but I would come home on the weekends and fix that pretty easily but I wasn't afraid of the big town or anything like that. I got used to that pretty quickly. I was part of a sorority and collegiate cattlewomen, so just staying busy and volunteering like I did in high school is kind of 
it just made it feel like I wasn't too far from home and was still able to give back to the community a little. Teveshev, Hokea na Nahisheve, Madafio Minin, Nahista. Good day. My name is Shanlyn Spotted Elk, and my Cheyenne name is TP Pole Woman, and I'm from Lame Deer, Montana. Growing up in Lame Deer was pretty fun. Um, it was nice to be away from everybody. I mean, now that I have come back from college, I realize that it's nicer to have, I don't know, lots of family that live on the reservation. And it was a little overwhelming at first because I never had to use a map or anything because I knew where everything was. So I kind of got lost a few times. My favorite thing about MSU is probably just the Bozeman area and the people in it because I really like um, to hike and to climb and to snowboard. So I really like just living in Bozeman because it offers lots of activities that I didn't have here in Lame Deer. Being Miss Indian MSU is really fun and awesome and I just have to be a good role model to other people and represent the MSU student population as well as the Native American population to the best that I can by traveling to powwows and representing. The advice I would give to someone coming from a small town would be to just put yourself out there and have fun and don't let everything overwhelm you because it'll all be okay. <laughs> I'm Everly Richards and I'm from Hammond, Montana. I study construction engineering technology and I am getting a business administration minor as well. The biggest difference is, and it was something I expected, is all the people. Growing up in Hammond, I was used to not having people close. The closest neighbor to us is over a half a mile away, so seeing other people on a daily basis right outside your door is a new experience. It was a little bit difficult being away and then being in town all the time. Like for me, town was a trip. That was a kind of a deal. You go take a trip to town and then being in town all the time. So it was the opposite, taking a trip out of town. What I like most about living in Bozeman is just the mountains and the scenery around. Craig West from Outlook, Montana. I'm studying English education. I originally chose MSU because I had teachers in high school encouraging me to go into engineering and uh, <laughs> I thought that Bozeman was a great choice for engineering but then you know I changed paths of course. <laughs> what I've gotten out of MSU, oh my goodness, <laughs> what haven't I gotten out of MSU? <laughs> um, I mean I've done I've done everything. I mean I've I was a part of a fraternity, I, I was in student government, um, I worked with various organizations and I, I really think that that has been the biggest, uh, biggest thing for me uh, growing as a person at MSU. I have so many great friends down there, that's really my favorite thing is I get to, I get to be with the people I like to be with. I'm Chisholm Christensen. I'm from Hinsdale, Montana. I chose to go to MSU because of the location, mainly, and that I knew I was going to be getting a top-notch education. At MSU, I study agricultural education. What I'd really like to do is come back and work on the ranch, and I think that'll be a good, you know, education to give me what I need to succeed here. My favorite thing about going to school in Bozeman is that I'm on and part of the rodeo team. I really enjoy that. I've had a little bit of success. My favorite thing about living in Bozeman is, is the mountains and just kind of the location over here in the east. It's a little flat and uh, there's always something to do in Bozeman. I guess coming from the, the small town was a, a little bit of a culture shock. I, th I think that I was prepared you know, pretty well. A small town is a community and then you've got the college that is your community in Bozeman. So it's just a little different. I'm Rachel Smansky from Highwood, Montana. I chose to go to MSU because my whole family went to MSU and I wanted to be part of that legacy and I just love Bozeman. I play for the women's basketball team at MSU as the starting center. 
Coming to Bozeman from Highwood, there were more people in my first class than the whole town of Highwood. My favorite thing about living in Bozeman is that the mountains are right there and it takes 10 minutes to get there and you can get away from the, uh, the busy city life really quickly. My name is Courtney Wenlin and I'm from Red Yard, Montana. I'm a master's student in the accounting program. When I arrived in Bozeman, it was a complete shock to me coming from Red Yard, Montana. There's so many more people, so many more cars. I just didn't, I didn't know what to do. I graduated the class of 18, so it was difficult to get used to class sizes of 100. <laughs> my favorite thing about MSU is my group of friends that I have made. My favorite thing about Red Yard is just coming home to the small community. I know everybody in the community, and it's always nice just to come home and get the friendly hi from everybody. My name is Emily Linkert and I'm from Coffee Creek, Montana. Coffee Creek was kind of the original settling. Um, my grandpa and his siblings went to school in Coffee Creek um, in a one-room schoolhouse. It's kind of like the, a district of Denton, I guess you could say, but it's just, it's just our own little area. I came to MSU because I really wanted to go to an in-state school. Um, my mom is a bobcat, so it was very exciting that I got to share some of that tradition history with her. And um, MSU is a wonderful school. It's great academics, great social life, great all around. I expected a bigger change than I actually saw. Um, there, at MSU specifically, there are a lot of small town kids that go there and so it was, it felt like home more than I ever expected it would because there was those kids that had been in that same place, but it was also those kids who wanted to learn about the small towns or from the, you know, bigger areas and such. So I think it surprised me how much of a community I was able to find right away after leaving such a strong knit community and that's just, I think it's great that you can find that wherever you go. We hope you enjoyed this tour of Montana and the opportunity to learn about a few of our students who are still the heart of Montana State.